It is well known that GFR declines with age. At age beyond 40, the normal decrease in GFR is about 6 to 10 ml per minute per decade. Data from a large US cohort, the so-called enhanced study, show the decrease in GFR with age and particularly the increase of renal impairment 10 years after the first observation. Older subjects have lower muscle mass and therefore a decreased creatinine production. Lower creatinine concentrations in the serum lead to an overestimation of eGFR based on creatinine-derived formulas. Besides decreased creatinine production, a variety of errors can influence the results of GFR. These errors include the analytical method and lab assay used, as well as the standardization of the analytical procedures. Furthermore, comorbidities of the older adults and medical treatments, which have interactions with analytical methods, may influence the results for eGFR. Several formulas for the eGFR were evaluated using different methods of GFR measurement. In other words, the eGFR formulas are based on GFR data revealed by creatinine clearance, radio-labeled iothelamide or iohexol clearance. In conclusion, the definition of CKD in older subjects is problematic due to the changes in creatinine metabolism and due to the inconsistent eGFR determinations using different formulas. Which equations should be used to assess kidney function in these patients? The Berlin Initiative Study, BIS, developed formulas based on creatinine and cystatin C, which are especially adapted for the evaluation of eGFR in older age. In contrast to the most commonly used formulas MDRD and CKDAP, which render higher values for the eGFR as compared to the measured GFR standard, the new formulas BIS1 and BIS2 reveal eGFR results very close to the MGFR. Besides the evaluation of GFR, the albumin excretion in the urine is an important predictor for the progression of kidney diseases as well.